Alright, what's going on guys? It's Almon. Welcome back to another Call of Duty Modern Warfare video. Hope you guys have been enjoying the past few videos I've been putting out on my channel. I've been trying out different types of content, especially with Cold War. So I hope you guys have just been enjoying that. But in today's video, we're going to be talking over the haunting event that's going to be coming through um, basically after the beta of Cold War. So when that comes around, uh, we'll see what this whole event's going to be about. We are entering, we are entering a new um, era of an update. So that update should be rolling out relatively soon or whenever this comes out. Uh, there should be an already an update. We're basically going to getting the playlist update as well so it's gonna be new events uh that you guys can play i'm probably particularly i'm not gonna be playing them because i'm just waiting for another shipment because i am kind of bored of modern warfare uh you know obviously i already got the emblem and everything like that so that's why i've just been bored i mean i can get to tier 100 but i haven't been really playing i'm like five tiers away or something like that i just haven't been really playing um i mean i could already be tier 100 but that's just what it is what it is. I've been busy doing other stuff with uh, college and everything like that. Just like so a plan ahead so that when Cold War comes around, you guys can see a bunch of content. But yeah, uh, if you do enjoy this type of content, me talking about all the new updates and everything like that and all the stuff that um, you know that comes out, be sure to leave a like on this video and be sure to subscribe. It uh, helps me out and make sure you do turn on your notifications so you guys aren't missing out on any new content. Drop it in the future, especially with Cold War around the corner with beta and everything like that. So just, you know, be, stay tuned for all that stuff. And we're almost at 700 subs, so hopefully we can reach that and then maybe even a thousand. Uh, those are my goals right at the moment. And yeah let's get into it so we know the events coming on october 20th which is basically a business uh in a business perspective that's really smart because they did it right after uh the beta is over so people get still get engaged in content and you know they're basically ready to play warzone or everything like that so it's pretty smart but if the only I, stuff that we really know at the moment is that it's going to be in a nighttime mode because a lot of people have been talking about it and it's also you know in a nighttime-esque uh description uh you know it is what it is i feel like it's gonna be a separate game mode i don't think it's gonna change warzone drastically i don't you know because a lot of people do play competitively in the scene so when it comes to those types of tournaments i don't think it'll mess up warzone in particular because it's gonna be like our you know all those tournaments that are scheduled within a certain time frame i think it's like the 20 to the 8th of november so within that time frame i don't think that they'll you know um schedule like nighttime stuff in the exact warzone i think it's gonna be a separate playlist type of thing with how they did with the whole uh if you guys remember when we had the whole event for cold war you know the stadium blowing up essentially all that type of thing you know how everyone thought that was gonna happen uh but that event so i feel like it's gonna be something like that related a lot of people have been thinking zombies i've been thinking zombies as well because uh a lot of people have been talking about how you know zombies this zombies that and also that it's found in the files along with you know the the hellhound which did come out um due to the fact that we did get a hellhound uh finisher and then we also got like a zombies type uh skin i forgot what the exact um character is for but we basically got a finisher along with that skin it was like she had blood all over her and stuff like that so i feel like we get more skins like that and if you guys did witness the trailer uh within that trailer of uh season six we saw skins revolving halloween-esque so we saw like ghosts wearing like a skeleton outfit uh we saw uh, like a, i think it's a new skin uh for one of those caped guys i forgot the exact name at the moment because uh, i'm literally recording this like <laughs> two in the morning so um yeah like i was saying uh, it's like a mask like a gold-plated uh jason mask stuff like that we're gonna be getting stuff like that so um i like these ideas i 100 percent get that uh and they have to do something halloween related but i'm surprised that we have you know we're doing halloween stuff but we haven't done stuff for the past events like uh I don't remember if we did events, you know, like for World War II, for example, I always bring World War II up as an example because World War II, I feel like had a lot of events and they obviously had their like Halloween event. They had the Shamrock and Awe event. Uh, they had a Valentine's event, I'm pretty sure. They had, literally had a ton of events and I'm surprised that you know, they did so many. And, you know, they had that little HUD that where people just can just, you know, chill, do 1v1s or whatever. And I kind of like that idea, but obviously that's never going to come back in another Call of Duty, especially with Cold War. I don't think they'll ever do something like that. They're going more of their way instead of, you know, uh, I think it's Sledgehammer's way. But, um, yeah, they, with their Halloween event, they'd had like, you know, uh, I think zombies like in their little HUD. Uh, 
Then we have like a Grim Reaper S skin. I really hope we do get a Grim Reaper S skin. I don't think it's gonna happen because they would have showed it in the trailer, but we are gonna get like a Jason themed type of skin uh, with the mask, you know, the hooded. But I don't, I don't know if that's gonna be a mid season. I, I think that's technically a mid season update. If it is, I feel like the butterfly knife is also gonna be released with it along that time, uh, type, that type of week because it would be smart because he, uh, the character in the, uh, what's it called? video of the trailer is showing like him holding a knife and a lot of people thought that was gonna be a butterfly knife uh i possibly think it could be but i mean i don't know if they would release a butterfly knife this early i don't know if it's mid-season yet because i feel like it's only been a week since the season battle pass has been out i mean for me it's different because you know you're not supposed to finish the the whole season emblem within like three days of it coming out you're not supposed to reach rank 155 in three days for me it's been like forever but uh, for like a lot of people that are still grinding out there, it's only been like a week. So I don't think they're going to release the butterfly knife that quickly. And I'm also going to do another video. Uh, don't know when. Um, talk about season seven. A lot of people think that season seven is going to come. I feel like I'm going to debunk a lot of stuff and just talk about stuff that people keep thinking or start rumors in the community. So I feel like I'm going to talk about those as well. Because uh, a lot of people think season seven is going to be coming. And I'll explain why I think that in another video. But uh, back to the whole event, so I feel like the, what's, what's going to happen is going to be a separate game mode, but maybe like zombies, uh, nighttime obviously. I feel like thermals are going to be a big thing in this game mode because especially since it's nighttime, I feel like thermals and not many people are going to be running EOD. Everyone's going to go the cold blooded route and run snipers and like uh, ARs. I wouldn't say SMGs really, I feel like, I mean SMGs would be more close range, but I feel like it's going to be snipers and ARs like a kilo and like maybe like a X50 HDR or car. Uh, with a thermal and a lot of people are running cold-blooded and so many people I feel like are gonna be camping in bushes and it's gonna be one of the most annoying things and I feel like the gas is gonna be quicker and we're gonna get like zombies maybe like trailing around the map that maybe drop loot I feel like they're gonna try to go like their Fortnite route where Fortnite did their like like Halloween event where they had these little zombies in a separate game mode that would be going around the place and where do we kill them they drop you loot whether it would be a you know, good rarity or bad rarity i feel like we're gonna get something like along that line and if they do i feel like it's just straight copying fortnite before fortnite probably copied some other team for all, for all we know but i feel like that's the whole point of warzone warzone is taking ideas from other brands and trying to venture out with their ideas and i obviously from my experience from like you know from other brs i feel like warzone and i'm relating to to more of a cod mobile uh, essentially and a lot of people said on cod mobile that they have gotten a trailer for zombies and i don't know if it's true or not i because i don't use cod mobile i think i played cod mobile when it came out but uh, i'm gonna use cod mobile as an example because uh, a lot of people have been saying that uh warzone is essentially going to be turned into another cod mobile and what cod mobile is is it's all the call of duties combined in one so like you see stuff from like black ops one black ops two you know all the call of duties you know and i think this is even a I don't even know if I'm right. I feel like there's an intervention in that game. I'm not sure, but it's basically a combination of all the Call of Duties in one. Like I've I seen people talk about shipment 1984, I think it is, or something like that. I feel like I don't know what the year it is for shipment from World War II, and they're putting that exact map on COD Mobile, and you can play like any of the old shipments and stuff like that. So I feel like eventually Warzone is going to be a combined game where it's going to have. After, I mean, obviously, after Cold War, we're going to get a new Call of Duty, you know, every year. Um, but once we get that new next Call of Duty after Cold War, I feel like all the guns, you know, perks, maybe. I don't know about perks, but I feel like gun-wise, Warzone's going to have a combined arms, essentially, of all the guns in one. So, like, we're going to have, Warzone's going to have guns from, like, Modern Warfare, Cold War, uh, and then whatever the next Call of Duty after that is. I feel like that's what they're going with the Warzone route. Uh, it's like a... It's like a good thing or a bad thing because I feel like once we don't know how Cold Warzone is going to work when Cold War comes out, especially with like um, all these new updates that Cold War has been getting uh, for the beta, uh, no one really knows if Cold War is like how it's going to work with the Warzone. Now, we all know that cross progression is going to be a thing and stuff like that, so we just have to wait and see. So for these Halloween events and like any other types of events, I feel like they have to be more on it. Uh, due to the fact that I feel like a lot of people are going to be trailing off Warzone. I mean, people do play it here and there. I, I mean, Warzone is Warzone. Uh, but a lot of people have been venturing out into other games from what I can see, like on the recommended. Um, stuff like that so we just have to wait and see people a lot of people are just hoping for cold war to be good or if it's gonna flop i see i see a lot of comments i see a lot of um 
discussions in other people's videos and i'm just wondering how cold war actually is going to be some people like cold war and so there's, there's a, a small amount of community that still hates cold war for reason being that they don't like the gameplay and i just have to wait to see you guys will see once cold war drops um i already have it downloaded and everything like that so uh for the beta and once that comes out i'm be sure to record a ton of videos discuss my opinion on cold war if it's actually worth playing or not uh just because no, not many people are gonna play the beta well i, I mean obviously xbox get uh, early access but i mean ps4 even gets more early access so just to wait and see but yeah that's gonna be for the cold war videos but ba uh, back to the halloween event i feel like like i said i feel like it's gonna be really op when it comes to cold or using cold-blooded because cold-blooded i feel like since it's everything to be at night time you know you're gonna be deploying at night uh this is more of a, like if you guys want to actually play this specific game mode if you're playing regular war then i feel like this is just you know this event is like redundant to you there's no point of you playing it there's no point of any of that i mean if you're competitive but if you're like a casual person like me like i'm not sweating on warzone i just play for casual uh but i mean i'll sweat on multiplayer sometimes but not really i'm more of a casual type person uh but yeah there's gonna be a specific game mode like they have this car this truck one going on right now it's yeah the stupidest event the, the stupid uh, so it's literally the most stupidest uh playlist that they can ever add like why like that that's no one likes that game mode if some if, there, if there's someone actually out there that likes this new truck game mode dude you're insane because that that game mode was ass <laughs> holy but like i was saying it's gonna be a specific game mode it's probably gonna be like halloween themed and obviously there is rewards along the way so i kind of like the idea there's gonna be like rewards hopefully we get a finisher a zombies finisher as a reward that would be pretty cool um, because I remember like on Fortnite when they had the Christmas stuff going on, we had like a gingerbread backpack or whatever. But for this one, I hope that we get like a zombies finisher. That would be really sick. And like a zombie comes out the floor or maybe just, you know, kills him. Something insane like that. That would be cool. And then whenever you see the body, it turns into a zombie or something like that. I don't know. They can do a lot with this game. I've, I've always thought of ideas for this game, but obviously, you know, I'm not a game developer or anything like that. But there's always a lot of ideas going on in my head about what they can do to this game. If it's worth staying or if it's worth playing stuff like that but we just have to wait to see what the rewards are we'll probably get some shit rewards like <laughs> probably some calling cards some emblem uh probably skin for the knife maybe if they do something along those ways uh maybe a, maybe an actual character skin but i highly doubt it i don't think they'll go you know i don't think they'll think more of the community like that i feel like they'll just give us stupid stuff or maybe i already for sure know there's gonna be a charm like a zombies team charm stuff like that um, we just have to wait and see but i really hope for some like an actual character or an actual like you know um yeah i want an actual character or a finisher those are like the two things i want to see in the rewards if it's just charms calling cards all that stuff that's gonna be annoying because they're gonna do the same thing what they did for the actual event that happened for cold war when we got calling cards and uh emblems we didn't get anything else really i mean sure we got a stupid ebr or no a stupid sks variant but no one really rocks the sks it's not buff their nerf the, the guns that they need buff and nerf or whatever like they already did but i feel like they shouldn't even nerf the mp5 again or uh what's called buff the aug because you're giving the aug so much love already by giving it tracers and giving it so many variants same thing for the ak they gave us so many variants for the ak buff that you know no one really rocks the ak in warzone um yeah, they just need to look back at their analytics, not their analytics, like their statistics, and go back on those and see what guns are used. Because I'm pretty sure the AK and the AUG just need some type of love. Because if we're giving them so many variants, they need to fix that. But yeah, I've been going off on a tangent so many times on this video. But um, overall, like I said, the event, Cold Blooded is going to be the way zombies might come through. It's going to be a nighttime game mode. Um, all the rewards are probably gonna be locked behind missions that you have to do it's, it's probably be in the missions tab all that type of stuff so we just have to wait and see but those are my ideal thoughts of what's gonna happen and uh yeah hopefully this video wasn't too long or anything like that but uh hope you guys enjoyed this type of content be sure to leave a like on this video and be sure to subscribe as well we're almost at 700 subs so hopefully you can reach that in the next couple you know couple weeks and then maybe even a thousand one day and then be sure to turn on your notifications so you guys aren't missing out on any new content dropping um cold doors around the corner so i'm pre-recording this like on the 14th and, and the two in the morning um and you guys should have already seen my previous video talking about cold war zombies if you guys are interested in that i might do easter eggs and stuff like that so be sure to, uh like i said be sure to subscribe for that and then also i'll be talking about all the beta stuff that um if they changed or anything like that i've seen people talk about beta stuff already um and how it's going to change and everything like that because i never 
played the alpha, I never played the beta on PS4, so it's gonna be my first time playing it. And I'll talk about everything like that, perks, weapons, all that type of stuff, and what's my ideal thoughts. So yeah, I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Peace out guys.